this weekend we did something quite drastic. We decided to chop down lots of ornamental trees that were just kind of really shading out this spot. This is where I have my persimmon tree, which I'm hoping will fruit soon. It's looking quite large. But he was really quite like, he was quite in the shade from all the ornamentals that were growing here before. So we did a big, big chopping down, which I really don't like to do too much of, but it was necessary. And we freed up this whole big area where I've now planted my wonderful Saskatoons. Saskatoons are berries I've showed you before this year. I started, I found, I discovered them actually. They're North American ones and they're so delicious. They, they look a lot like blueberries. Um, they taste a bit like them, but they have layers of flavor because you have this wonderful, really juicy outside, crunchy, juicy outside. It's really hard to describe. Um, that's really sweet and wonderful. And then the inside um, tastes a bit like marzipan. So it's just really, really tasty and also super healthy berry. Um, and they grow a lot easier than blueberries because with the blueberries, I have to keep them in pots in my garden because you know, they need really acidic soil. Whereas the Saskatoons, um, they can just grow in any kind of soil. So they, they love, of course, sunlight, like most berries do. That makes them sweetest and they grow best in that kind of condition. So I've got three different kinds here. And it's always great to have different cultivars because then they can cross pollinate and, and usually be more productive that way. And so the one I've got here at the front, he is the smallest of the lot. So he's not going to be shading anyone out. And also with them, I'm going to be trimming them and pruning them, keeping them quite small because they're just for berries. Um, you can grow them to be quite big actually if you want to have them as ornamental trees even because they're beautiful all year round. They have wonderful flowers really early on in the year followed by the berries six weeks later. Really tasty ones and then later on in the autumn the leaves are really beautiful and colourful so they're just like really great trees to have in any garden. So I've got this little guy yeah, he is the smallest of the lot. He is actually a dwarf. He's called Prince William um, and he's supposed to be like kind of like a bit of a shrub. So he might be branching out quite a lot. And he does really like to have a, um, someone to, a pollination partner, someone to cross pollinate with. So I've got over here, I've got the first one I got originally. It's called Sleet and it has some wonderful berries. I've shown them earlier this year. I'll just um, show you how they look again. So uh, yeah, he's right in the middle. He's also not going to be too big. Um, I was going to leave them in a container, but I thought that now I've got them all here, I'll keep them all together and they can just cross pollinate. So it's a great place to have them. And it's a really nice sunny spot too, which I didn't have before I did all the chopping down of everything. So it's a, hopefully they'll do really well here. And here I've got the largest of the lot. This is actually one that is grown commercially in Canada because they have this really beautiful, really big fruit. It's called Smoky, and the fruits were just delicious. I'll show you a photo of, of the fruits as well. So tasty. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this one. It's looking really healthy too. I just hope they're going to like being in this spot. Really, really wonderful trees. And it'll be really fun to see how they do. Now that I've got a much more sunny spot, you'll see the sun's coming out and it's really nice and warming up here. So that's a good sign. I'm going to get some water onto them, keep them hydrated for a bit while they settle into their new little bit of garden.